Hey guys, so I am in our uh, 2018 Outlander PHEV. Uh, this is the uh, the touring edition, but pretty much the inside's gonna be the same. But basically today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explain how to use this guy. How to pair your phone to the Bluetooth, how to use the Android Auto, the Apple CarPlay and stuff. Um, mostly just the Android Auto because I don't have an iPhone, so uh, Android Auto is pretty much one of the only things I can do at this point. But uh, I'm going to explain how to use that, some of the different features, give you a little bit of a demo on uh, some of the, the things you can do with it, and explain why it is awesome to have this installed in your car. Um, now this is standard on all of the Outlander PHEVs, it's standard on all of the 2018 Mitsubishi Outlanders, standard on the 2018 Mitsubishi RVRs, and it's also standard on the 2018 Mitsubishi Mirages. So we basically offer Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in all of our vehicles as well as the Eclipse Cross as well, um, which is awesome because usually this is a, a feature that you have to move up in trim levels to get um, with certain packages or pay extra for. So it's nice that we're offering it in all of our trim levels at no extra cost. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start up the car. Whoops, can't see. Start up the car. Got some air going in here because it's toasty. So while that's loading up, on my, my LG phone here and first thing you're going to do, well, I'm going to turn off the music real quick. So first thing you're going to do when you go into your, your phone is you're going to go to your Play Store, have that load up, I'm going to click right there, I'm going to type in Android. I'm doing this all through a camera. This is actually pretty impressive. So Android Auto, you'll see this little kind of two arrow silver and blue arrow pointing up. I'm gonna click on that, and you're gonna hit. This will probably stay installed if you don't have one on your phone. Um, but I already have it installed, so it just says open. But now with Androids, you will have to download this app with Apple uh, for the Apple CarPlay. You don't have to get any apps. You just have to plug the phone into the USB port, and it will. Uh, it will work so but with android you do have to get the app first and then go through that whole that whole thing so so i got my app i got this all loaded up so next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your center console your armrest take the tray out or move it or something and then in there you're gonna see your usb tab there doesn't matter which one you plug it into but you'd have to plug in your USB cable for your your phone with it oops whether it's an iPhone cable or your USB cable for your Android and then after that I don't know how I can do this with one hand I might drop my phone come on go 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 there we go we got it plugged into the USB. So we're going to unlock to continue. And we're connected to the car now. My phone's giving me a little warning there. To connect to Android Auto, make sure it's safe. Check your screen. Blah, blah, blah. Hit the X on that button. Now, the apps button would normally say Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, whichever comes up first. But I believe you do have to go through the setup on your phone first. So, let's open this up. So, we're going to hit continue. And you get this all on your screen. So, the rest you do uh, on your touch screen. We're going to skip this. We don't need to do a walkthrough. So, this is what your Android Auto home screen is going to look like. Uh, pretty much it's going to have all some of the recent stuff, uh, music, your navigation below, weather, um, recent calls, recent messages, and so forth. Uh, this is going to be your main home button, so whenever you're on any one of the other screens, you're going to push this button to get back to this screen here. Next to that, you'll see the little phone, pretty self-explanatory, that's for your phone. That'll pull up all your recent calls 
the side here, you'll see the three little lines that'll pull up some different uh, options that you have. Contacts, missed calls, call history, voicemail, so forth. Um, little thing down here is going to pull up a dial pad. You can dial a number. You can also do all of this stuff by the voice. And that's one of the nice things about Android Auto and Apple CarPlay is that everything can be controlled from the voice. Um, by pushing the voice button on your steering wheel here. Now you'd have to hold this down for a couple seconds as opposed to just hitting it. Um, and then you'll hear a little beep or a, a something like what Siri comes up with. And then you can just say stuff. The other nice thing about Android Auto and Apple CarPlay is that there's no specific commands that you have to say. You don't say navigate to, you don't say um, dial this number. It's You can say things like, bring me here. Where's the closest this? Uh, I wanna go here. to say those specific commands you can just talk normally instead of like you're talking to a robot um, so next to the phone button you'll see the little arrow there that's your navigation system push that when you're on an android phone it'll pull up google maps and then when you're on uh, an iphone it'll pull up apple maps if you already have um, addresses favorites and all that stuff saved on your phone they will translate into here and then also too you'll notice on here little red and orange little dots that's your traffic so it has live traffic updates so if uh, traffic is running slow it'll say it's red and it'll tell you how much time it's going to actually add to your commute um, based on how slow the traffic is moving now that's with android auto i don't know if the apple carplay has the same feature i think it does but all i can tell you about right now is uh, is android auto because that's all i have on this side you'll see your little headphones that's your music services and uh, so right now we have it connected with my Spotify. But if you actually see there's a little arrow pointing down, if you push this button again, it pulls up all the different services that are supported with Apple or with Android Auto. So all the different things that I have stored on my phone uh, that I can use with Android Auto. Same thing with the navigation. I might have taken it off my phone, but this also is integrated with Waze as well. So if you use Waze as opposed to Google Maps, that'll work too on Android Auto. And the button down at the back here, that's just to bring you back to the main Mitsubishi touchscreen. Now, there's two ways to access Android Auto. You can hit the home button up at the top corner there and then see it on your home screen. Or you can press the apps button shortcut on the side. When you press that, it's a shortcut right to the, uh, the Android Auto or the Apple CarPlay. So, uh, really neat stuff. Um, now, what you can do with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is that allows you to obviously do all the stuff that I just showed you, your navigation, your music, your phone calls. Uh, it'll also do text to speech, speech to text. So if someone sends you a text message, it'll read it out to you. Uh, you can say reply and then say whatever you'd like to reply to that message. If you wanted to send someone a message, you can say send a message to my wife if they're in your phone as uh, marked as your wife or send a message to uh, Jason and then read whatever the message you wanted to send. So I'm gonna be home in 15 minutes or where do you wanna go for supper tonight? It'll repeat the message back to you to make sure it's sending the correct thing and then it'll confirm, do you wanna send it? You say yes, it sends a message. So essentially it allows you to text and drive without actually texting and driving. Uh, you do all of this stuff while still keeping your hands on the wheel, eyes on the road and still focused on driving, uh, which is really, really nice. Um, so same thing with, uh, if it's an iPhone, you'll be in, or, um, integrated with Siri. If it's a Google phone, or an Android phone, you'll be integrated with Google Voice, and that allows you to do pretty much almost anything really on your phone. Um, if you wanted to Google stuff, if you wanted to find out what the weather was like, it'll read you the weather. If you want to find out how the lease were doing, <laughs> then it will uh, it'll Google it and tell you how they're doing in, in uh, either the, the season or the playoffs or, or whatever. Same thing with the Jays. Um, you want to find out how old Donald Trump is? You press the voice button, say how old is Donald Trump? It'll Google it and tell you. So there's a lot of really cool things that you can do with. Uh, with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, and it's just getting better and better and better. A lot of uh, different app developers and stuff are signing up with, uh, with offering support with this stuff. So it's really cool. So just to give you a little bit of a demo, I'm gonna put my voice button down here. I'm gonna hold it down and then I'll say, uh, I'll show you a couple of commands. What's the weather like today? taking long because I'm connected to Wi-Fi and the signal is not very good.
Today in North Bay, there will be showers with a forecasted high of 26 and a low of 13. Right now, it's 25 and partly cloudy. That means today is going to be a beautiful day. I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi off and just run strictly on data. And that's another thing too. It, you have to have a data plan to use some of these things. Uh, but if you don't have a data plan, you'll still be able to do the, uh, the texting, the calling, and, and all that stuff. But nothing like navigation. Navigation won't work without data. Um, same thing with the whole weather thing. All that stuff requires some sort of internet connection. So I turned my data or my Wi-Fi off, so it should be a little bit more responsive now. So. How old is Donald Trump? Donald Trump is 71 years old. Like, you do a lot of stuff with this. How's Pittsburgh Penguins doing? The Penguins are in second place in the Metropolitan Division with a total of 100 points. Like, it's insane the stuff that you can do. So if you're never ever on a road trip with someone and you're having a fight and arguing about no, no, this person is this and that, no, no, that, you just hit the voice button and you ask Google or ask Siri and they will solve all of your issues. Um, all for no charge. Thank you, Mitsubishi. So that's a little bit of a rundown on, uh, on your Apple CarPlay and your Android Auto. Now, when you connect uh, these things for the first time through the USB port, it'll actually automatically connect your Bluetooth for you as well. So you won't have to do that process like the Bluetooth first and then this or this and then Bluetooth. So as soon as I unplug my phone, my Bluetooth is still going to be connected. So I will still get hands-free calling and, and all that stuff is still going to work, which is really, really nice. Um, if you do not have an Android phone or an Apple iPhone, you can still use the Bluetooth controls uh, to make phone calls and stuff. And it will actually allow you to change things, change tracks, change music on your radio. Um, and just to show you how to set up your Bluetooth, it's very simple. You go to your main home screen, you hit the phone button. Now mine's obviously connected, but uh, when you hit the phone button, if there is already a phone paired to it, then uh, you'd go to the step I'm about to show you. If there isn't a phone paired to it already, it'll actually tell you there's no phone paired, you want to pair one, you hit pair, and then go through this process. But if you already do have a phone paired and you want to pair a second one, you hit that phone button, you hit Bluetooth settings here, and then you'll see my phone's already paired there, but you'd hit pair device, tell you to turn the Bluetooth on in your phone, hit next, and then that's the address you're going to look for, or it'll say Mitsubishi Motors Bluetooth. So if I look at my phone right now, again, I'm already connected, but if I look at my phone right now, and I scroll down from the top, go to my Bluetooth, oh, I have a bunch of things connected already, but um, let me see here actually, search. It's already connected, so it's probably not going to search or then turn up my search engine. But you'll see something like like what it says right here: Mitsubishi Motors Bluetooth. You click on that, and it'll just basically tell you to make sure that the pass key or the pin is correct. You say yes, and then your phone's all paired up. So it's very very simple to do. Um, it's it's one of the more it's one of the easiest uh, systems I've had to work with that. Uh, I've, I've, I mean, I've looked at other cars and I've had used vehicles come in and I've paired customers for them to those and there's been a lot of headaches and a lot of issues uh, with trying to connect those, but I find that our new uh, touch screens are very, very simple to connect through Bluetooth. So um, I think that's pretty much all I got. So if, uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll be doing my best to answer those for you. If you have any requests on how to work out anything else inside any of our cars, not just the VHEVs, other cars for that matter um, let me know and I'll see if I can do some videos on those but until next time see you later